Hello everyone, welcome back to Bellytron Plays Monster Hunter World. We are going to depart, you know what, what we're going to try here is the last low rank optional quest I have available to me at the moment, which happens to be a Rathalos Arena. Uh, so we're going to give that a whirl. I mean, we're fresh off a Dodogama kill, which is super awesome. Um, and unfortunately, Rathalos is like one of the low rank monsters along with like Diablos that uh, even in high rank really typically get to me and it looks like we're gonna have a special guest here so let me make some room here so that Miltropolis can sit down and you know maybe add some uh, some commentary here do you want some headphones? yes yes hold on guys Quest timer's going, but I don't think we're going to need the full 50 minutes to take down a Rathalos in an arena. Those might be pretty loud. You may want to watch out. I will watch out. Watch out. Okay. Let's see if we can start off with some mounting. That worked shockingly well. Typically, you know, you need a little bit more mounting damage than that, but a single jump onto him worked. Okay. The problem is I have no idea what you're doing right now. Well, yeah. I mean, you're, right now you're killing a dragon, but like... Yes. This one's called a Rathalos. Now, I happen to be in a arena. Okay. So it's not like the large open world standard experience. Yeah, I mean, I totally get that angle. Um, you just get over it after you play for a while? Yeah, the, like, the game mechanics and how well it's put together pretty quickly make up for it. Um, and, I mean, there isn't a whole lot of good reasoning to do it, so you kind of got to make up your own, like... That's the thing, is, like, it just seems like you're just being a giant dick. You're just going around killing things for fun. Yeah, I mean... Give you, like, better motivation. Like, yes. we need to kill this dragon because it has a special thing, ingredient in its saliva that will kill or cure, you know, diseases, so we need well, to collect some shit from it. he does have a special ingredient, uh, many of them, that I need to collect in order to... Just make you stronger or something. Yes. <laughs> but... It's not as good motivation as what I was thinking. No, but th this guy can do poison and fire, so, um, you know, maybe the motivation is simply that he blew poison fire on a village and we need to prevent oh, so that from happening just again. Up the back to kinda yeah. Well, especially it's especially not that hard to do with Rathalos cuz he's one of the biggest jerks of all the series. Rathalos has plagued me for three ultimate and generations I think it was called. Why? Uh cuz he's a dick. He's fast and he flies and that's oh, so he's trying to not get killed yes yeah. and he poisons me and puts me on well, fire I so did. often Wait, because you came up and started hitting him yes primarily <laughs> he I'm defends himself him far <laughs> too <laughs> effectively and as a hammer user the fact that he's up in the air all the time really causes problems the worst when they're smart i know i know this is like one of those moments where it's like, I guess I could do something like Insect Glaive and learn it and, you know, be awesome and hit guys way up in the air, but, you know, whatever. I mean, so far so good. I've taken little, little damage, which is not common for a Rathalos fight. That's good. Your life bar, I see. I don't see his... Does he have a life bar? No. They never have life bars. So you just have to guess? Kind of. There's tells. Um, Is there acting different? Yeah. And, like, on my map, there's, like, um... I think it's, like, what you would call, like, their exhaustion or their stamina. Mm -hmm. Um has various colors. Like, right now, he would likely have to rest soon to bring back full stamina, so... There are likely moments when he will land. Well, land and like take breaths between attacks, which would be like my opening to get in and do some extra damage. I see. 
It's not a good spot to be. Oh, man. He missed. Yeah. That fireball was pretty close. Okay, one minute to the Dragonator. To the what? The Dragonator, until it becomes available. It's an arena, so there's like this. In one minute, a little lever will pop up here. Uh -huh. And if I get him close, I can like shoot out these spikes at him. I see. Which does a decent amount of damage and tends to stagger them, which, you know, is pretty important. So is your health? Go back up a um, So when you get hit, your health turns red. So you, yes. you, your total bar goes down, but then there's some some that becomes red. If you don't get hit, the red will slowly regenerate back to green. Oh, okay. Um, but you have to use healing items to you know take the green back up to the full bar. Right. And I do have a, a number of healing items on me. Uh, I'm just like, and I have some that even like regen that aren't even consumables like this one. In fact, I'm just going to put this one down for right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now as when I stand inside this like little area, um, yeah. definitely regen some health. Cool. Getting a lot of hits in now. Yeah, that was, that was good. Too far away. Oh, it worked out okay. Yeah, so that's like when their stamina goes down a little bit, that's kind of the uh, benefit there, is you mm -hmm. often stagger them a little more readily. Okay, we need to do a couple things here. A, my sharpness is almost out, so. We need to sharpen my nice blunt object. Yeah, hammers totally get sharpened. I know. Oh, that didn't happen. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not on the dragon side. No! No, it's okay. You can be on. You can root for Rathlos. I'm not. It just don't me laugh. Get him! At that point. That, what just happened to you. Yeah, of course. Ooh, okay. Poisoned. No, 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 no. And I'm stunned too. So, this is one of those moments where it's like. He could have easily had me in a pretty difficult stun lock position. It's okay. You're playing with a, with a friend, right? Uh, yeah, my little. Um, I don't know what do you call it? A palico. Palico. Yeah, he's a cat, uh -huh. and his name is Doom with four O's. It's a little confusing, though. Well, he has four O's to signify how much better than Chaotic Doom he is. Because oh. Doom, you know, Chaotic Doom only has three O's right. in Doom. This Doom has four. It's like, you know in uh, Spinal Tap where he's talking about uh, the uh, the amp? And he's like, well, this one goes to 11. It's it's one of those types of situations. I mean, I've heard that scene referenced many times, but I didn't ever watch that. Really? Right. Well, I, okay. Fair enough. I don't know if bomb pods will make him land. Doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, this could be an opportunity to try to use a ballista, though. Except that just seems like suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if Doom would take aggro, I could give it a whirl, but... Okay, but no. But no. No, no. Okay. That's okay. I mean, he's pretty good at taking aggro a ton, but uh, it's hard to tell him to just do it on command, you know? That'd be an interesting feature. Yeah, in fact, you kind of, depending on what gadget you put him on, the shield bearer gadget, I'm pretty sure you can tell him when to use it. In which case he does kind of take aggro for a little bit, which is pretty convenient. 
Okay, we got our health booster back. Nice. I really don't want to fight this guy right here. There we go, that worked out. Except I am like hitting him in a non-critical location. I am doing like very little damage. Does it matter you did I did it. Killed an innocent animal for no reason. Yeah. Accurate. Um, but I did have a quest for it. That that's a reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got some items. Uh, I think I needed the Rathlos Marrow, so that is good for me. And Doom was using the Plunder Blade for that, so I should get some extra materials here at the Ooh, quest finish Plunder screen. Blade. Plunder cool Blade. Name. Yeah, yeah. Cool it is. Alright. Now in the arena, unfortunately you can't just go and like mine other materials, so really all you do is run around the monster for a while, waiting for the timer to run out. Okay, let's see what we got. Scale shell, nice. Okay. Nice, you picked up four items. That's awesome. Onward and upward. Whew. You know, that fight went shockingly better than I am used to oh, against I was those. I that didn't seem too hard. You, like, you know, owned that guy. I did. Now the thing is that I am in like high rank gear, using like a, a high rank hammer against a low rank monster. That was the last low rank quest I had available to me that I hadn't finished up yet. Cause oh, I, so I, it's just a low rank quest. I don't know why you're so worried. Because of, of who it was. <laughs> well, it's low rank for a reason. I, yes, yes, this is accurate. Definitely was low rank for a reason. Items can be delivered. Oh, okay. What can we deliver? Oh. We just added fatty tomatoes to uh, our canteen. Fatty tomatoes. Fatty tomatoes. Is that gross? Or is that just like a giant tomato? Um, I think it's probably a super delicious tomato. Is most likely. It doesn't sound delicious. Well... Yeah, I mean that's fair. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be, you know, delicious though, because, you know, that cat likes to have as many ingredients as possible. Have you seen the cat cooking animation yet? You probably have not. I I have a treat for Meltropolis here. Okay. Yes. It may or may not include fatty tomatoes. Um, okay. likely not. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sit down in this canteen. See this, see this dude here? He's, he's a cooking master. Mouscular chef. <laughs> okay. And you collect ingredients <coughs> for the, uh, canteen. Right. And then it gives more options. Whoa. That is a thick cut of meat. Yeah. It's a very thick cut of meat. This guy's gonna, you know, broth me up some fish stew. And flambe the whole thing. Whoa. That looks pretty delicious. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I would love 
have some of that too. Yeah, and it gave me plus 50 health, plus 50 stamina, attack up medium, plus yeah. some palico skills. Yeah. Great. That is great. That guy's ability to cook is like equaled by no other. Now here's the thing. I love it when you go and do like the fish platter or like the veg veggie platter or something from him. And then it's the same animation so you get like a huge flambéed steak with fish stew and then in the end you know you get this big hunk of like turkey and skewers of shrimps. I saw shrimps. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say beef but it's probably I don't know something else. I haven't seen any cows in this game. Alright. You know, I want to point out that steak need not come from a cow. I feel like if okay. there are all these exotic animals... That's fair. That, you know, steak's just a cut of meat. Yeah. In our in our world, it's pretty much a cow, but... Yeah. Buffalo steak, if you just cut it from the same place, it's steak. That's Especially if there's a fattier true. animal mm -hmm. in this game. Apparently there are. are. Tomatoes are fatty in this game, apparently. Well, yeah, so that's the thing, is all the animals are lean, but the veggies, you know, have various fatnesses. It's not true. I was trying to figure out something to say there, and it didn't, it didn't turn out so hot. But that's okay. Okay. We're actually going to try capturing this guy instead of defeating him. He should be somewhere around here. There he is. <laughs> no. Oh. Stop running away. Okay, so this one, this guy's not low rank. This one's high rank. But we'll try to be quick on him. So far, so good. Oh, we made a new friend. So this, this little monster here decided that we are good guys, and that he's going to help us. Okay, so don't kill it? I can't, which is good. Okay, we're getting some decent damage in right at the start here. Yeah, this has been a good combo. See, Doom's now riding our new friend. Oh, they separated. <laughs> okay. You've already done some significant damage to this guy. We might be able to even capture him soon. That hurt. Alright. Nope. Okay. Alright. You know what? We are going to get the traps and stuff ready, just in case we can do that right away. You do that. I wish you good luck. Thank you. I now have to leave to attend to our child. Okay. Well, we're almost at the end of this episode here, which is perfect. Yeah, we're going to trap him right away. You do that. So I will meet up with you and child 
in a moment. Sounds good. Now, where's this guy going? Trying to get away from me. Now, here's the thing. If he's already asleep, why do I have to, you know, use the Trank Bombs after? It's a good question, I know. I know. You yeah, have two bounties done at once. Okay, well, I would really like to, you know, pick up stuff if the camera could facilitate that. Yeah, flash bug. Yeah, you know what, we might as well do a Pearl Oyster, why not? No, no, that's why not. Not enough time. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I love the palico cheering, it's so good. Alright, we only had two of those. We only had two of those. Good. Lots of those though. Nice. Monster nice. Okay, and another gem. Perfect. What do we got here? A photo four. I think that's awesome. And what else we got? Some more hide. Yeah, scales. Good, good. Some more scales. Excellent. Let's appraise this. See what we get here. Antidote. Oh, well, that could be interesting. Depending on you know what kind of guy you're gonna go fight. Level 19. Yeah. Complete 50 optional quests. Hey guys, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, you know what? It's time for me to go join. Mel and Baby. So, you guys have a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button. Also, hit subscribe. We'll catch you next time.